going on YouTube, Army Firedog back, and this is the end of my weeks with the OPPO Planner Magnetic 3. Um, these are the newest um, Planner Magnetic headphones from the audio company OPPO. Um, I've really enjoyed my week with these guys, um, but to give my impressions on them. So initially when you open the box, like I said, if you're reading my unboxing or my written review, it's just really luxurious. And that just stayed throughout, from the fit to the comfort to... Um, how it just overall stays on your head or how it looks is very nice it's very professional looking the padding never once gave me an issue um, like I guess I compared it to the Zeinheiser Momentum 2's and that comparison still stands as far as how it just feels and how it compacts and squishes down to your head it makes it very comfortable for a long period, extended periods of time now an issue I did have however is with the mesh on the inside if you can see I don't know how well you can see it right here. That brushed against my ear a lot. Like that added quite a bit of irritation. So I, after even so much as an hour or even 45 minutes at times it seemed, it just really agitated. And I just had constantly had to adjust it. And now I don't know if it's just all ears, but I have decently sized ears. So that could be an issue. But that, that was my first flaw in these. So going on to the build frame of them. These are a very nicely done aluminum from the stainless or the brushed aluminum here on the back that covers the planar magnetic drivers to the swift no sound no cranks at all swivel to even the cups themselves which these I think actually might be plastic just right here but the entire rest of this is all aluminum. The ear pads and even the headband is a very soft leather material, which is it adds nice luxury and it's very comfortable for again. Also in the box, these came with four cables. First, you had the Apple mic cable, but for this loaner program, that was not operational, so I couldn't review that. The straight plain cable, and then the universal mic cable. That one I did try. Um, it was quite responsive, but the people I was talking to said I did sound sound distant and almost like I was in a well is what they were telling me. So as far as microphone quality goes, it's not the best in the world, but it was still a good mic overall. And lastly, the cable or a cable that comes with it is the 10 foot um, or three meter cable. It's a straight jack. Um, this one I, is what I personally used it for. You put it into my amp which is on the other side of the living room so I can listen to it in my chair and just relax without having to bring my amp over, which is a lot more of a house than what it should be worth. So, now onto the sound. <clears throat> These are extremely neutral. I mean, I can hardly tell a bias to them whatsoever. Um, the highs were clean, they were, they were crisp, and not too biased at all. It was just accurate. It was very, very accurate. The mids, were very transparent like when i was listening to either trace atkins or um a metal band nightwish both vocals sounded almost like right there i was very pleased in the vocals so it was very transparent very realistic very liquid like now the bass on the other hand which brings me to my second complaint with this is that i i didn't get that nice warmth that i personally like um, my uh, benchmark for audio, what I found I like, is like the Bowers and Wilkins P7s. You have gorgeous mids, um, very forward mids, with a slight curve to the upper bass, and with the highs not being too touched, maybe a slight recess in the lower highs, but the rest of it, I'm just clean. These, however, now, on a side note before I digress, Though these are definitely the most accurate bass I've heard. Um, I could tell listening to all live recordings when a bass hit, it was right on cue. I didn't get any reverb or kind of fake decay, I want to say. Like, I didn't even know I had that, or I didn't know what it sounded like. Like, I just had my Bowers Wilkins and then my uh, Zeinheiser HD650s. But these, I was like, oh my gosh, so this is. This is my new standard for accurate bass response. I mean, this is by far the most amazingly accurate headphone in terms of bass response. Not heavy, but accurate. <clears throat> now, 
accidental suicide. Um, one thing I did notice, though, is when listening to it, I don't know if it was I had a pre-notion that I was super excited because those are the first planar magnetic headphones I've ever listened to. So if I'm off on some things, I just my inexperience with planners. Now, when I hooked it up to a tube amp, which I was worried for at first because it's a very low impedance. The impedance on these is 27 ohms, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it is easily handleable from a phone. <clears throat> now, when I hooked my lower impedance Bowers Wilkins, etc., to my tube amp, which is a high impedance tube amp pushing recommended between 150 to 600 ohms it really worried the sound but a lot of my head five buddies told me hey hook it up to a tube amp or to a high amp impedance amp planners really scale very well so after trying that they really opened up um the highs sound a little bit more cleaner um not like exponentially but it was a little bit cleaner the mids though weren't really that touch i don't think you can increase the mids that were on there they were on par the bass though however really opened up and did what I needed it to do I got the warmth I wanted now granted I had a tube amp as opposed to a solid state and I'll get onto the solid state later but with the tube amp I had it gave me that bass response that nice warm experience I like very very well um, and then the sound stage also well, before I go to the solid state I talk about sound stage it, it's accurate as in the directional cues are very on par. I knew where stuff was. I could identify individual instruments. But, and this is kind of my half complaint, but I don't know if it's worse or a clothed back. It wasn't a huge sound stage. Now, I, was quite, I wasn't I was like uh, disappointed, but it wasn't in my face by no means. Like most clothed backs I listen to are right, right in my face. These were expansive, but they weren't what I was hoping for. Like what my new standard is or what I, I know can be in a closed back headphone, how big of a sound stage you can get, and what I was expecting at that price point. So, as far as open sound stage, not so much. Now, when I equipped it to a solid state amp, the highs I have found, and I use the, my tube amp is the Garage 1217 Project Horizon 3 with a stock tube, and then the solid state was the Theo E11K Kilimanjaro 2 on high MP, on high gain, and the bass boost I usually turned off, but sometimes I turned it on for the warmth. But in the solid state, the at least with the Theo, the highs slightly crisped a little bit. I mean, it wasn't notable. Like I really had to pay attention to hear it. The mids again, I didn't tell. I, I personally couldn't tell any difference in the mids, and then the bass just it more prominent with the bass turned off it was just more prominent at least I could hear it better now when the bass boost turned on I got that warmth I wanted and it was these are you need to have a tube amp with these the tube amp really brought out what they could do now one back to the fit so the sounds have got I already covered that quite well onto the fit of these I probably should cover that earlier these do have a decent amount of clamping force, so for some, they might not like that. Because, I mean, they're going to clamp on your head decently well, um, so they isolate extremely well. Now, extremely well. Um, my job, also at the airport when I was in there, and I tested them out with planes going with them without music, and overall, how, how I could handle conversations, wonderful. Flying colors they were comfortable I it toned down a lot of the ambient noise I had to listen to and I actually got a couple looks because people kind of gave a hmm, kind of look at how good these looked and they do I mean they're stuff flush they're brushed and whatever where you can run with that a little joke there for you all right in conclusion guys these are an absolutely amazing headphones um, they they set a new benchmark for me what I think bass response should sound like and as far as transparent closed back headphones these are my new standard um, I do highly recommend an amp be involved with these but these work incredibly efficient with a, with a just a general phone um, these retail for $399.99 off of the OPPO website which I'll leave a link in the description and also in the description, I'll leave a link to the HeadFi page of the Loner program if 
if still going on, if you'd like to get a part of it or like to put your name in for it, the just sign up for it in the link in the description box down below. Um, if I were to give a rating for these, I would say I'd give these about a seven and a half to an eight out of ten. And I'd, but I would seriously recommend these to anyone wanting a very good, low profile, and neutral pair of closed back cans. But that's going to be it for my OPPO Planner Magnetic 3 review. Um, I'll catch you guys next time. And as always, stay safe.